A serious mythbuster is poking fun at what she says are the sacred cows of alternative medicine. Californian Yvette Dontremont, also known as the Sire Babe, is a scientist with a good sense of humour and a dislike for unproven health claims. She's in Victoria as a guest of National Science Week and spent some time with reporter Monique Shafter. And a warning, do not try these experiments at home. This is um, Calm's Forte or Fort, I don't know how we're supposed to pronounce it, but it's a homeopathic sleep aid. So in this, we have Avena Sativa HPUS. Translation, no f***ing medicine. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take the whole bottle. 31-year-old scientist Yvette Dontremont is attempting to myth-bust the alternative medical practice of homeopathy. And she's not afraid to be a human guinea pig to show it has little effect. So again, the entire bottle. And oh, a few more left. Yvette just swallowed 50 homeopathic sleeping pills in one go. They taste like sugar, it's delightful. I think that uh, when people see that demonstration of someone downing the entire bottle, yeah. it's very powerful because it shows them, oh, this really doesn't do anything. It's really just sugar. There's no magic to this. And like the theory behind it is so bunk yeah. that it does nothing. Yvette's better known on the internet as the sceptical and cheeky blogger Cybabe. Cybabe is all about, I, I like to say it's uh, scientist as drinking buddy. So if we can get people to listen to what science is by making them laugh, we're going to get people interested in science and I think it's a wonderful thing to do. So let's check how those sleeping pills are going. Homeopathy isn't even effective on dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Homeopathy is not the only thing on her hit list. Buddy, I need my safety goggles for this. I go after the anti-vax uh, movement and the uh, anti-vaxxers, um, the anti-GMO people, and uh, the people who promote fake cancer cures are three of my the biggest uh, stitches on my side because yeah. I think they're they're very dangerous and very misleading. Disgraced wellness blogger Belle Gibson, who lied about having cancer and curing it with a healthy diet, is a case in point. Belle Gibson is a wonderful example of what happens when, every, when people don't ask for proof. It was five years ago I was diagnosed with terminal cancer and we launched the whole pantry a year ago. For a person living with brain cancer, Marta, and you look incredibly healthy. What's your jumper about? Oh, um, one of the rules on my website is citation or, uh, can, I, can I say f***? <laughs> As I just said, or one of the web rules on my website is citation or get the f*** out. And it's, uh, you can, and GTFO is just a, you know, slang on the internet. It means you can disagree with me, but you have to be able to back up what you say with science, with something reputable. Once in a while, somebody will prove me wrong, and I love that. It means I'm going to learn something. Yvette's no stranger to alternative therapies. Five years ago, excruciating headaches sent her searching the internet for relief. I tried everything. I went vegan for two years. Like, I mean, I really, really tried all the natural health solutions. I didn't make my headaches go away. But you know, I'm, I'm on, uh, you know, I, I'm on a seizure medication and an anti-inflammatory that seems to keep it under control. I, I talk to my doctor regularly. All my labs look fine, yep. um, and I'm and I'm healthy now. And yep. I'm, I thank medicine. Good dog is 13% alcohol. And you know what? You don't even need an ID to buy it. This demonstration illustrates one of Cybabe's success stories. In one of your other experiments online, you drink a whole bottle of homeopathic dog medicine. Oh, yes, I did. And this medicine is supposed to help calm a dog down. But what happened to you? I got hammered. By that I, you mean? I, I, got, I got drunk. I'm a little worried about this. Here we go. Not that good. Let's have alcohol some. is very bad for our for our little four-legged friends because dogs don't metabolize alcohol the same way we do. They uh, metabolize it very slowly. It stays in their system and it can hurt them. I'm drunk on dog medication. Oh, 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 oh. You ran a change.org petition off the back of that video and that did lead to the product being recalled. Yeah. Is that sort of the ultimate goal of a lot of the tests that you do? It's, some of it is to change uh, the marketplace, some of it is to change people's perceptions yeah. of a product. When Petco pulled it, I was just, I was thrilled. Yeah. It was, it was partially because I'm like, there are people drugging their dogs yeah. and they might not even know that they're doing it because of the way it's labeled. Her experiments come with a warning. My master's degree 
um, is in forensics with a concentration in biological criminalistics and toxicology. Um, I did my thesis on, um, on prescription opiate abuse uh, trends. I really, really know um, how to read these labels carefully. Just don't try this at home. What do you say to people who say that homeopathic products have worked for them? It's, I mean, that's anecdotal. It's, here's the thing, there is, a, there is a thing called the placebo effect. And I mean, that's, that's been measured, we've seen it. We know that people, if they think something is going to work, that, that they're, they, they've measured a placebo effect to work. So if you're somebody who wants that placebo effect because you know it's only working because of the placebo, I, I can't do anything for you. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. because you're just, you want to buy into it, go for it. There isn't a single study showing the efficacy of this above and beyond a placebo. Cybabe faces a long battle because pseudoscience is big business. I think sometimes pseudoscientists are, are close to, like, not, not religion in terms of, you know, something that people pray to, yeah. but, but it's a belief system almost. People right. la latch onto this and, and gravitate towards it in, in almost a religious style fervor. Yeah. Because if there's no science behind it, there, there is something like a belief towards it. For Cybabe, there are no sacred cows. Yeah. I went out and I found some organic options for you guys. You're expecting an apple or a fruit or, or you know, something at least remotely healthy looking. It, it's okay. They're organic. People who fall for bullshit uh, are not stupid. They're not gullible. They got bad information. So I think it's important to when we're pointing out what bullshit is, not blame people yep. who fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's healthy.